Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to do some off-season bow tuning ideas. tune my bow uh, this is just two coat hangers as a frame with some paper duct tape to it then I've got uh, coat hangers two coat hangers coming from the ceiling and then paracord as an extension because those weren't long enough and you know, I got it to the level where I can shoot lovely through it and then I got my target as a backstop so uh, yeah let's get right to it so for paper tuning you're gonna want to be like two yards away from the paper. You're going to want your target or backstop far enough away that it can pass all the way through the paper and then sticking your target without stopping midway through the paper. I'm going to take a shot or two, uh, show you that what tear it is, if I have a tear. I don't really know how this is going to perform because I got the new rest on there and I don't really know how it's going to do because I just shot it at 10 yards and it needs to be sighted in still, but it it's a target, but uh, let's try it out. So right here we have a tear right, which means that the fletchings are kicking out to the right and they're tearing more that way. So for left to right, you're gonna to wanna to go the opposite of the way it's tearing. So this is a tear right, we're gonna to wanna to go left. If you have an up tear, you're gonna to wanna to go up with it. If you have a down tear, you're gonna to wanna to go down with it. So if you're gonna paper tune, I'd probably do this before you, um, you sight in your actual sights because you may have adjusted that to where the arrow was going. And once you change your rest, which paper tuning solos out is the rest, you may have to change your sights again. So if you still have to sight in your bow, I would leave that for after you paper tune. But now that we've uh, moved my rest to the left a bit because it was a tear right, let's shoot another shot and see what it's like. So once you get it all right, uh, that's about the perfect bullet hole you're gonna be looking for, where all three veins go through, pretty much straight through. The hole of the arrow shaft is right in the middle of those. Just keep on shooting until uh, you can adjust and get something that looks pretty much like that. So for that last drill and this drill, it's gonna be really important that you Make sure you're working on your perfect, your really good form, where your, like the inside between your pointer finger and your thumb is pretty much the only thing making contact with your rest. And make sure you get your normal anchor points and uh, perfect this perfect form so that it's nothing to worry about when you're out there going to make a shot that counts. So this next drill is called uh, blind bail shooting. You're just going to stand like two three yards away from the target. You're going to draw back, make sure you're pointing towards the target, and then you're going to close your eyes and you're going to focus on that perfect form and you're going to slowly release the arrow.
Oh, 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 oh,